Welcome to another episode of Seven Minute Marketing with Pam. My name is Pam Dinner. I love sharing a little dose of B two B digital content marketing and sales enablement seven minutes at a time. Through speaking and consulting, I was fortunate to make friends around the world, and I keep in touch with them through texting. But I use different messaging apps depending on where they are and what messaging apps they use. For friends in the U.S., I use phone texting app on my iPhone. Quick and easy, straightforward. To communicate with friends in China, I use WeChat since majority of Chinese are on WeChat anyway. For talking to friends in South America and Europe, I use WhatsApp. That should not be a surprise for any one of you out there. Interesting enough. For friends in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Japan, and some part of Southeast Asia, I use Line, which is the largest messaging app in Japan. So, guess what I used to connect with customers and friends when I was in Taiwan in December? Line. While I was there, my friend took me to the Times Square of Taipei, Taipei 101. Here's a trivial fact: Taipei 101 was the tallest building in the world. From 2004 to 2010, the building, like its name, is 101 stories high, which is mighty and amazing. Similar to the World Trade Center in New York City, most of the floors are offices, but select floors are for shopping, expensive restaurants, and high-end bars. Taipei 101 is a fun, crowded, touristy, and full of holiday cheers. I love it. So, why does a messaging app have anything to do with Taipei 101? My friend made an effort to show me the Line Friends store. It's a physical retail store. He told me that Line was so popular in Taiwan that they opened a store to sell products of their popular emoji and sticker characters, such as Brown, Connie, Moon, and more. You can see these characters as stuffed animals in toys. Clothes, water bottles, stationeries, and different kinds of trinkets. It's amazing. Oh, if you are not familiar with line emojis and stickers, let me show you or talk to you about this. Brown is the bear, and Connie is the rabbit. Apparently, they are in a relationship. Connie is super expressive, while her boyfriend Brown never changes his face. But both of them are super cute. James is a long-haired dude who works at his father's company. You know, it's kind of strange, but they all have their own stories. Each of the character can be found in Line's exclusive games, and there are also emojis and stickers that you can use to reply to your friends' messages. So now back to the store. The store was surprisingly crowded and busy because December is the busiest shopping season of the year. And by listening to some conversations in the store. I could tell that many of the customers were tourists, and they were buying the products for their families and relatives as holiday gifts. What a clever idea of transforming an app's emoji and stickers to real products as a way to continue building brand affinity with an app that you use every day. Although opening a retail store is a business decision. This is also a creative way to build word of mouth with user-generated content that people can share when they purchase their favorite emojis and sticker characters at the store. It's a free and earned social media impressions that Line doesn't need to spend a penny on. They reuse emoji and sticker characters for branded merchandise and their mobile games to create more business opportunities. That kind of reminds me of reusing and repackaging content in content marketing. So as of Q4 2016, Line has more than 220 million active monthly users. Using a physical store to sell branded product is not only an interesting decision, but also a marketing opportunity for users to build brand affinity with an app. Pretty cool. So that is my seven-minute marketing highlight from Taipei. If you are ever in Taipei 101, you should check out the store. Again, if you have any marketing questions, you know where to reach me. Keep hustling, my friends. You got this.